All right, guys. You have a, you have a tough time winning that game with a Lando Lucas. Yeah, yeah. You know, you know. If you told me before the game that Landon and, and uh, Perry would combine for 17 rebounds, I'd say that would be a heck of an effort. <laughs> I didn't think that one of them would get 16 of them, though. Uh, but but uh, Landon was he's the best player in the game. He did a great job on Devin. Uh, and certainly, uh, uh, you, know, you know, he's got five block shots on the year, and he got four tonight, and nine points and 16 rebounds, and, and played just fabulous. So uh, uh, I know the one possession early in the game where he, he caught the ball right on the basket and hesitated to go, and they blocked his shot. And other than that, that's about the only fruit ball I think he made tonight. I thought he played smart scout report and, and was really as a primary reason why we won. You haven't always gotten a ton of scoring off the bench, but uh, tonight Brandon Green came in and gave you eight yeah. points. How big was that? Well, he gave us ten. Ten. He, gave, he got ten points, and and, and that was good. Yeah. Uh, uh, you know, he made a couple of shots, which he can. It's unbelievable. He he he, he makes two threes like it's nothing. Then he's wide open and at least shot an air ball, uh, uh, which you know I don't I don't know what the deal was on that one. But I, I thought yeah you know, I thought he played smart and got in there and, and Wayne. Wayne didn't have his best game, obviously, and, and, and played through fouls the first half, and so we needed BG to bail us out, and he did. How tough is it to be as consistent as Perry Ellis has been offensively? Yeah, he's been he's been offensively he's been terrific, and and defensively he actually played well, just didn't rebound uh, like he's capable of rebounding. But but uh, yeah, he's he's been he, his he's one of the more efficient you know guys. You know, you, you talk about players that can score a lot of points and not take very many shots and. And I, I don't know, last last three games or so, he's right around 21 to 23, I think, on, on maybe 11 shots or nine shots or 12 shots. And, and, and certainly he's been he's been very, very efficient his, and consistent. His demeanor always appears to be very cool and calm. Does that help him with that consistency? And also, does that rub off on some of his teammates? You know, maybe. Are, are, are you from here? Wichita. You're from Wichita, so yeah, you're you're from here then. So you've seen Perry play a, a lot, and 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 uh, uh, I I do think that his demeanor is, you know, the highs aren't too high and the lows aren't too low. It's it's that probably does lend to consistency. Uh, uh, that's that's a great point. I hadn't even thought about that. Uh, uh, you know, Wiggs was the same way, and Wiggs drove me nuts because I thought he could always do more. But at the end of the day, he knew exactly what he was doing. It's just highs don't get too high and lows don't. And, don't get too low, and, and uh, but I, but I do think Perry can play with more emotion, uh, and I think he would be more active and, and uh, do more good things if he did. But but he he's been so such a rock for us for four years. He's he's been he's been stellar. It's it's hard to find any fault with the kid that that that, that conducts himself like he does. Bill, how about how about Landon as a rebounder? I mean, he, he went and got some rebounds yeah. tonight too. Yeah. What is, I mean, is that his greatest strength? Oh yeah, 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 and, and and he's a good low post defender. You know, we said all along that, you know, certain guys, at least we thought going into it, that certain guys would be better in certain situations. And guarding a heavy guy, you know, there's no question he's by far the best we got uh, in doing that. And, you know, we didn't have to trap, we didn't have to do some things that we may have to do with somebody else. Uh, but but you know, at halftime, Landon had seven rebounds. Our next leading rebounder had two. So so uh, uh, yeah, he he was he was so valuable tonight. Bill, does that start to define? What you want there? I mean, it, it, or you, you don't have any reason you have to make any commitments to a guy being a D guy in a no, certain spot. No. But I mean, does, does, does a game like this show you that, that Landon can really be all that? Yeah, but he, but we've given Landon a chance. You know, if, if you really look at it, Landon's been been in the game, late game situation just about every game that's been tied for us, uh, uh, and and we've had a, we've had a few of them. So yeah, he 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 is. You know, he's not a prolific scorer. He's not going to be a guy that. You know, if he can get an angle or get an easy put back, that's that's what he does. But the, you know, he's a smart player and he's a good screener. And you know, and he, and he finished above the rim a couple of times tonight. You know, he sets a good screen and runs the rim. He gets lobs. I mean, he he, he just played. He just does what he does. I mean, uh, uh, and and uh, you know, he he's smart. Uh, uh, but but defensively, he's really. I I don't know if you really study, but he's. I mean, scout report taken away, left shoulder, I and mean, he does a lot of things really good defense. So, what can you allow yourself to either take from or enjoy from this game, knowing what's next? Uh, well, I'm not gonna. I, I tell you what, I can take from it. We got we got pumped in Morgantown, and so tonight uh, I, I thought we were we were much more competitive. I thought I thought we we made many 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 more.
more competitive place. Uh, now that doesn't mean that they didn't make them too, because they obviously got 14 offensive rebounds and and whipped us in some some areas. But and, and you know we turned it over 15 times. But how many times were in the backcourt against the pressure? I mean, it, it, I think once or twice the whole game, and then we, we end up turning it over. We get spit out in the forecourt. But but I, I think what I can take away is that you know that we were you know played more like men than we did when we went to Morgantown. Pretty pleased with composure of your team, the way things Well, happen. except for stretches, you know, you're up 13, you lose composure, and they cut it to six. Uh, uh, they're at the end of the game, you know, a couple of bad turnovers. Uh, uh, so so I don't know, you know, Devontae had two bad turnovers trying to pass over a trap, uh, instead of stepping through it. But, but yeah, for the most part, I thought I thought we kept our composure pretty good. It was it was kind of a chippy game. Yeah, that's what I mean. Yeah, How yeah. About, no, no, no there's too beat. much talking. But, 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 but the whole thing is, you know, it, it, it's kind of a – it was a chippy game, and I'm not going to tell our guys, you know, I'm going to tell them no, 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 no. But, but the bottom line is, you know, in a, in a game like that, because, you know, the, the way that the way that the Mountaineers play and the way the game went out there, I mean, our guys were, you know, they, they, they kind of had the mindset that, that, that uh, you know, they were going to be much more competitive at home. So game got a little chippy, but that, that's okay. I, I don't think that um, it's going to bother me one bit, and I don't, Trust me, it's in a, in a lot of hugs <laughs> at all. So, how about the help defense on Page, especially on his drives? You know, uh, pretty good. You know, he got off 16 shots, I think. Is that right? And so, obviously, uh, you know, you know, when when you play ball, a lot of times to me, uh, you know, you look at stats and a guy shoots a low percentage, and you think you guard well. That's that's misleading. If a guy got off that many shots, you probably didn't guard as well as what you think. But the first half, we did a great job of shrinking the floor and not letting them, you know, get in the paint off the bounce. The second half, they did some things differently to move guys around, and, and they were much better attacking us the second half. Every time they seem to make a run and try to cut into the lead, you got to have an answer. Why do you think you're so good? Right? Uh, you know, I don't know. Uh, uh, I, I, I don't I don't remember all the plays, but. They cut it to four. Is that as close as they got? They got to three, and and, and I know Wayne made a huge three. Uh, uh, we had some we had some great possessions in the first half where he came away empty. Uh, second half we had some some good possessions where, where I think we were a little bit more efficient the second half. But but uh, I, I I don't know why. I mean, this guy's making plays. After already kind of taking an elbow, Frank turns it over and then steps in and takes a charge at the end of the game. What what do you see out of him from the Hawkins perspective? Well, you know that that was they they weren't back to back. I mean that was I mean that happened earlier in the game, but uh, you know he wouldn't have had to take an elbow if he could guard the ball and keep it in front of him. So so that's what I take. Like guard the ball, and you, you you won't get hit. Uh, uh, and and but but the one thing he did make a bad play uh, there. In press offense, bad play, and, and but he made up for it by taking by taking a charge, and, and uh, but he, you know Frank didn't always play great, but there's nobody talking, to him. nobody. Uh, uh, you know he, he he's about as competitive as, as as anybody that we've had here. Bill, for, for February 9th, do you like where you're at in the standings? Do you like how this team is playing right now? Yeah, I like I, I think we're playing better. Uh, you know we we had that dull stretch that hopefully everybody else is going to hit that in February and we've already gone through it but uh, I don't I don't particularly like where we're at in standings you, you look at we, we still got to we still got to go to Norman Manhattan uh, uh, Waco and Austin so we probably have the toughest schedule of anybody left uh, uh, and and but you know you got to go win away from home you know we, we the the record our record shouldn't be uh, what are we now nine and two nine and three is that what we are? Eight, 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 three, three. eight, eight, eight and three. Okay, uh, uh, so we're eight and three, and, and our record shouldn't be ten and one. Uh, uh, but but we 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 we, we could have played better, obviously, in Stillwater. Uh, not that we should have won the game; they outplayed us, you know, basically from start to finish. But but uh, you know, we we we, we got to go steal one uh, that that uh, that we kind of let slip away, and, and whether that be Stillwater or Morgantown or. Or Ames, we we, we got to go steal one because, you know, I I don't know, you know, going you know five losses, we might get a share of it. I, I don't I don't know. I, I think uh, if somebody gets hot, I think I think four losses can win them. What about uh, Landon? You mentioned his blocks. Did have you stressed it more that he go after the ball? Yeah, I yeah, that was coaching. That reason why he blocked more shots. <laughs> <than> <laughs> I, 
Uh, no, no, we have been talking a lot of, more about trying to create some activity defensively. You know, we can be decent position defenders and other teams shoot low percentages, but if you don't get any fast breaks or or, or, or uh, deflections or steals or whatever to create easy baskets, it's, you know, it's, 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 it's okay, but it's a little overrated. And tonight we were able to do that, especially early on in the game. Phil Landon wasn't like your most high profile recruit, obviously, and he's had some really high profile guys there. I mean, it, what to say about his, just his, you know, mindset and temperament to, to make himself a player? Well, you know that you know when, when we recruited Landon, we recruited him as a as a backup. To be real candid, we recruited him as a program guy, and and, and you know I, I remember talking to his dad, and then he asked, "Do you think he's going to be good enough to play here?" And I said, "Not as a freshman, and maybe some as a sophomore, but by the time he's a junior, he's going to be a major contributor." And and and, and that's kind of the way it's played out. I mean, that's every kid wants it to be immediate. Um, you know, Sheck and Sheck and, and Carlton are, are better prospects uh, coming in here. But you guys saw tonight. I mean, that, that was a that was a kid that's been through the wars and and, and been in the weight room for four years and going against a, a man and, and uh, you know he, he knows how to help you win a game. Uh, uh, and, and certainly those other kids will too. They're just a little young. Huggins said he wasn't surprised by Lucas at night. Is that kind of what you're saying? I mean, you think he has that reputation? I don't know. I, I don't know. But you know, when we played him last year. I don't know if you remember, uh, Landon made the play and he put the game in overtime. So so he, he's made some good plays against West Virginia. Anything else? Bill, real quickly, I'm just curious, uh, how do you celebrate your 100th 